Hey guys, how you going? My name's Carnage. Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. In today's video, I got a pretty cool task force video to show you. Um, we're going to, I'm going to be showing you how we take down Armadillo in two attacks. Um, let's see, this operation was bottleneck, so th this operation is by no means a pushover, and Armadillo is a pretty, uh, pretty rough base. Um, so as you can see, we start off by using Warriors. The second attacks AZ, which is all Zuka. Um, so let's just pause the video here. This is Armadillo, if you've never seen it. Um, as you can see, there's a heap of like cannons and stuff like that. There's a few rockets thrown in just to be annoying. Um, the shock launchers down here. And we got a bit of an easy layout. And the reason why I say that is because usually these mortars and machine guns here are actually rockets. So we got off a bit easy in that regard, but as you'll see in the final attack, there's not a whole lot we do that you would have done different in a normal scenario. So how did we take this out? Well, when you scout a base like this, you've got to look at where's the best place to finish it and how... Um, we wanted to all Zuka finish these bases and we came up with the conclusion that when we looked at all these different kill spots there was one kill spot where if we took out a couple buildings we could shave a few shocks so we'll watch this attack and you'll, you'll see why we picked um, this attack the way we did so he's just fled to the cannon here which gives us a nice path up the top. Got hit by that shock mine. Does cost him a little bit. Leaving it a bit late to flare. Um, so that cost him a little bit with his warrior's lives there. So as you can see... The pathing's not exactly the most, the most, the greatest thing, because he's flaring a lot. But as you can see, he's going after this rocket here. Takes out the rocket. Now he's going to the mortar. So as you can see, that has gone. That is going to save any person with zookas a few shocks here. Because those two buildings alone were the only reasons you'd have to shock in the kill spot we're going to be picking. And now that I, now that the attack's pretty much over, I'll show you guys the kill spot. It's like right here. As you can see, if that's the kill spot, there's only like a couple shocks that's really needed now that those two buildings are out. So this should be a pretty good... This should make all Zuka a lot easier. Um, in the high level operations like Dead End, you would obviously wouldn't use Warriors to do an opener like that. Um, yeah, so... Didn't, didn't really realise that at first, but dropping the GBE on those two flamethrowers actually allowed one less shock again, so... That was that was pretty good, but yeah, in the higher operations, you'd actually use Olzuka to do that attack, and that way, that way you take out more than just those two buildings, more than just those couple. So, missed that, missed that landing there, but wasted. He did a typical B style landing with Zukas, where you just one boat at a time. It's a pretty straightforward walking path, nothing too complicated. But here's where I was really impressed. Look at this shocking. Two shock bombs. That one rocket gets some shots off, which was unfortunate. I think he thought he might have been just out of range. And he's dropping some critters off there, so the mortars don't get him. And boom. There it goes. So, 
that was two pretty cool attacks. I was really impressed when I seen it. I was offline when they were doing their attacks. And it was a really impressive display of strategy, I thought, where you actually analyze both people knew all Zuka well enough to know that although we had no notes at the time, both people knew exactly what was needed to save shock bombs for the next person and did their attacks accordingly so I thought that was really cool I hope you guys did as well um, I'll show you guys the statue set up again just because I forgot to really go through that the old Zuka attack that was the statues there not a really a big boost but he obviously knows his old Zuka's well enough to be able to do that Hamlin though, he went with a pretty much a full boost um, for the opener. I guess he wanted to make sure that he did did what he did, and he must have wanted to do a pretty big map clear at the same time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this has been a video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next one. got a pretty cool task force video to show you um we're going to, i'm going to be showing you how we take down armadillo in two attacks um let's see this operation was bottlenecked so n this operation is by no means a pushover and armadillo is pretty uh pretty rough base um so as you can see we start off by using the warriors the second attacks AZ, which is all Zuka. Um, so let's just pause the video here. This is Armadillo, if you've never seen it. Um, as you can see, there's a heap of like cannons and stuff like that. There's a few rockets thrown in just to be annoying. Um, there's shock launchers down here. Now we got a bit of an easy layout. And the reason why I say that is because usually these mortars and machine guns here are actually rockets so we got off a bit easy in that regard but as you'll see in the final attack there's not a whole lot we do that you would have done different in a normal scenario so how did we take this out well when you scout a base like this you got to look at where's the best place to finish it and how um, we wanted to all Zuka finish these bases and we came up with the conclusion that when we looked at all these different kill spots, there was one kill spot where if we took out a couple of buildings, we could save a few shots. So we'll watch this attack, and you'll uh, you'll see why we picked um, this attack the way we did. So he's just fled to the cannon here, which gives us a nice path up the top. hit by that shock bomb does cost him a little bit leaving it a bit late to flare um, so that cost him a little bit with his warriors lives there so as you can see the pathing's not exactly the most the most the greatest thing because he's flaring a lot but as you can see, he's going after this rocket here, takes out the rocket, now he's going to the mortar, so as you can see, that has gone, that is going to save any person with Zookas a few shots here. Because those two buildings alone were the only reasons you'd have the shock in the kill spot we're going to be picking. And... Now that, uh, now that the attack's pretty much over, I'll show you guys the kill spot. It's like right here. As you can see, if that's the kill spot, there's only like a couple shocks that's really needed now that those two buildings are out. So this should be a pretty... This should make all Zuka a lot easier. Um, in the high level operations like Dead End, 
you would obviously wouldn't use warriors to do an opener like that. Um, yeah, so didn't didn't really realize that at first, but dropping the DBE on those two flamethrowers actually allowed one less shock again. So that was that was pretty good. But yeah, in the higher operations, you'd actually use Olzuka to do that attack, and that way. That way you take out more than just those two buildings. It's more than just those couple. So, missed that, missed that landing there, but wasted either the typical B style landing or Zookas where you just one boat at a time. It's a pretty straightforward w walking path, nothing too complicated. But here's where I was really impressed. Look at this shocking. Two shock bombs. That one rocket gets him shots off, which is unfortunate. I think he thought he might have been ducked out of range. And he's dropping some critters off there so the mortars don't get him. And rip. There it goes. So that was two pretty cool attacks. I was really impressed when I seen it. I was offline when they were doing their attack. And it was a really impressive display of strategy, I thought, where you actually analyze both people knew all Zuka well enough to know that although we had no notes at the time, both people knew exactly what was needed to save shock bombs for the next person and did their attack accordingly. So I thought that was really cool. I hope you guys did as well. Um, I'll show you guys the statue set up again, just because I forgot to really go through that. The old Zuka attack, that was the statues there. Not a really a big Zook, but he obviously knows his old Zook as well enough to be able to do that. Hamlin, though, he went with a pretty much a full Zook. Um for the opener, I guess he wanted to make sure that he did did what he did and he must have wanted to do a pretty big map clear at the same time, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, this has been a video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next one